Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Master of Orion. My name, of course, is Orbital Potato. This is the massive space 4x game, turn-based strategy game that uh, has been in early access for a while, but it is now fully released and we're going to be giving it a shot. I'm really, really excited. I've played like a little bit of a warm-up match. Um, it wasn't, I didn't, I didn't play it for more than like 50 turns or whatever, uh, but we're going to be playing a new game. Yes, this will replace my current game because, of course, uh, it was just a warm-up one, just to, just to get down and dirty with it. All right, so now we've got to decide on the race. And in, like many, like many 4X games, there is a variety of races and all of them do very, very different things. They've got different traits. You know what? Should you want to do so? You can also create your very own race. I'm not going to do that because, quite frankly, I am not at the level of understanding where I am ready to say, hey, let's make our own race. Um, I really want to play as the humans. I, I, I really, really, really like the idea of playing the humans. Um, yeah, I really, really, really like the idea of playing as, as the humans. This guy is talking in the background, but all he's saying is this. And basically what he's saying is that the humans are now under under one government, and uh, it's a unified government, and now we're the human republic. That's pretty much it. Good, 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 good. Let's go next. Let's go next. Okay. Um, random opponents... Sure, sounds good. Uh, galaxy type, circle, again, that sounds pretty okay. Galaxy size, medium, galaxy age, average, starting age, post-warp, pre-warp. Okay, I think we want to start uh, pre-warp, unless we want to start post-warp. But I think I think the idea of starting pre-warp sounds like a, a, good idea, a, a good idea just to get us started, so uh, nobody's going to go super super hard on us AI difficulty normal sounds like a good plan uh, game pace quick I think is uh, is going to be good enough for us let's random this all of the number all of the letters move around when I click that do you see that that's really weird anyway we've randomly generated that about 16 times so I'm sure that it's gonna be truly random by now let's start the game and let me tell you this game has got amazing cutscenes like I only saw a couple of them but this game is very self-aware, I feel, and uh, it's quite humorous in some places. It's quite cool. I like it. I uh, I really, really enjoyed the tiny little bit of time that I spent with it, and I want to enjoy it with you guys. So we're going to give that a shot. Okay. We got our the very Human first cutscene. Fulfilling a dream once thought impossible, all of mankind has come together as a single world of traders and diplomats, explorers and scientists, pressing toward the final frontier. Venturing forth from their blue planet Earth, they now seek to explore space, discover ancient civilizations, and coexist peacefully with their neighbors from a position of strength and solidarity. Good. I think that that's a, a pretty good introduction to our race. I, I get the... I get the... I get the feeling that humans aren't supposed to be like a super aggressive destroy everybody sort of uh sort of race i think that we're supposed to be the diplomats and um, anyway as you can see there is a beautiful planet interface here which we can select to be auto run or we can manage individually everything food is for growing production is for producing stuff research is for researching you know nothing nothing unbelievably new there you know what i'm gonna do i'm quickly gonna go in here and turn the audio up because it's a little bit quiet for my liking. It was a little bit quiet in the cutscene, but uh, I hope you guys were able to hear it. Anyway, let's choose some research. Scientists are eager to start. Space travel. It's got to be space travel, right? I mean, literally, we only have one thing to do. Um, if we have a little look at the technology tree, you can see that space travel will give us access to pretty much the entirety of the technology tree. And there's a lot of good stuff in here. There's a lot of good stuff. Um, we can research buildings. So research buildings or government support factory, which gives us a whole bunch of different stuff. Um, production buildings, and then we've also got food buildings, um, and then you've also got weapons, you've also got colony base, xeno diplomacy, so more concepts and ideas that you can research, um, microbiotics, population growth, so like empire modifiers, loads and loads and loads of stuff in here. 
and I don't really know uh, what there is. Can I click on this? Oh no, but well, this this shows you exactly what it is. Yeah, so structure, ship modules, whatever. Look, there you go. Whatever. You know what? You know you can see what you can see what's going on. Um, I really do not. I really do not have a, a super firm understanding of exactly what is uh, what is in the research tree. Nor do I know what we are going to be producing. But I'm excited to to start figuring it out. So, what do we want? Perhaps we want a star base, some marine barracks. What do marine barracks actually get us? They give us four marines, five morale. Eh, missile base? I mean, yeah, kind of nice, but hey-ho. Could trade goods. We could get some credits, the, the currency in this game. Or we could go for a, uh, a star base. That might be a nice option. I think we'll go for a star base. Yeah. Why not? And we can also see the stats of our planet, which is kind of nice. Very, very cool indeed. Uh, got a little bit of an empire overview screen here. Got the research, which we've already talked about. Yes. Diplomacy. We are only one person, but there is a bunch of other races that we are going to be discovering, of course. Um, espionage. Ooh, I look forward to that. And one of my favorite features is in this entire game is the uh, is the planet finder. So basically, when you've discovered a whole bunch of planets and you're like, where am I going to settle? Where do I want to settle? Uh, you can sort by exactly what sort of uh, planet that you want to settle on by looking at all this stuff. And you can easily settle on a planet. It's great. I, I really, really like it. So I don't actually know if we're going to be doing much over like the next couple of turns because space travel really needs to be created before we can do anything. So I think we might as well just jump through it. Our planet is going to grow though. Population is going to be increasing. We are going to be getting that uh, star base very, very soon indeed. Not a very interesting first 12 turns, but I guess that's what happens. That's that's pre-warp for you. There we go. All right. Our scientists have Good. A new discovery. Yes, space travel. It's a new discovery. Great. Um, so we've got a space factory, frigate, scout, and a colony ship. Colony ship is going to be good. I don't think we really need it quite yet, considering we haven't discovered anything, really. But, you know, that's the way that the cookie crumbles, I suppose, isn't it? Um, what do we want? Deep space exploration? Uh, deep space exploration would be kind of cool. Although I would kind of like to go for something that is a little bit less... That takes a little bit less time to research. That'd be really nice. A destroyer. I really don't care about a destroyer. I do care about hydroponic farms, though. If we could speed up our uh, our our, our our production growth, our production growth, our population growth—that's the word—then uh, then we'd be in a pretty good position there. I feel you've been put into food. You're gonna grow in nine turns. Okay, nine turns. If we take you down here, that'll take us to twelve turns. So, the way in which this works, right, is that you can see that you get four bits of food for these two guys, and you get three for this two guy, and then it's like diminishing returns, right? So the more people you put into food, the less you get out of it, which is a really, really, really cool concept. I like it a lot. Um, nine turns. Nine turns is quite a lot of time to work with. I think we're going to keep it like this for now. Um, we really want to push growth, though. Like, we absolutely want to push growth. We really do. We really do. Let's show a queue, and let's let's add some stuff to the queue, okay? Because after that, we're going to want to get a scout ship. Absolutely essential that we get one of those set up as soon as possible so that we can uh, get a little bit of a... a little bit of an understanding about the galaxy around us. That really is key for us, I feel. Is this this is the part of the game that is very uh, self-aware about itself. It's uh, it's great. Writer's strike hits headline. Great. Bringing it to you live. Galactic News Network, the galaxy's most reputable news source. <laughs> oh, it's great. That I I like that. I like the I like the look of that. That is that is very very cool. And uh, big events like when you discover some stuff, uh, I think they just pop up. I don't really know how they work, but it seems it seems like a pretty cool setup that they've got going on. All right, so nothing very much has happened at all over the first couple of turns, which is a little bit disappointing. Oh, there is some space pirates. Um. Well, we're not going to be able to do much about those space pirates as soon as our star base is completed, then will be fine. Population has grown. Now, we're putting it into food. Do we want to put it into food, or do we want to put it into... 
I think we want to keep putting it into food. Like, food is undoubtedly more valuable than anything else. Like, I really do care about population. It is good. So there's a blockade. Like, what does the blockade do? Blockaded pollen. It cannot, uh, cannot buy production or manually scrap structures. You're kidding me? Really? So, all of that progress on my spaceport? Like, what the heck? Our that is strange. Biospheres and hydroponic farm. We'll get both of those built. I'm not worried about that. Um, automated factory? I guess that's probably what we Fantastic. want. Help us with our production a little bit. What is the military, the military strength of this guy? What's the military strength of a thing that we're building? The scout. Uh, combat, combat speed. Okay, I don't think it's going to be very much. I don't know how much it is, but it's not very much. Did we build, did we manage to build our star base? No, we didn't. Damn, so it actually stopped us. It actually stopped us because the pirates came. That is super annoying. Hmm. So, let's get this straight. Scout has literally zero value. And you have much more value than I do. We need to get out of here. I don't actually know if we're going to be able to be safe getting out of here. It's worth a shot. We'll try and escape, but I think that they are probably going to follow me. And as such, we are going to get killed. Uh, pollution cleanup ongoing. Uh, I don't really care about that. Research library or hydroponic farm. Um, I think we probably want a hydroponic farm, to be honest, or biosphere, either, either, either or, really. But two food is, is pretty big, like, that's what I'm interested in. Food is really what we need right now, like, we just want to grow. Like, these pirates, they're gonna slow me down, right? They're gonna slow me down. I'm not bothered about it. Not bothered about it in the slightest. I mean, they're not really doing anything. The, um, yeah, it's, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah, nothing nothing at all. The blockade will impose a 50% morale penalty and confiscate 50% of the credits earned in the colony per turn. I mean, yeah, we lose 50% of the credits, but that's not really a big deal. We're actually remarkably A-OK. -okay. Uh, I'm just going to put you on auto-explore for now, because I, uh, I don't really want to micromanage you as I keep an eye on the colony. This is G hey, hey! Galactic news. Oh network. no. Research at a human colony was set back by half thanks to a oh, previously no. undiscovered computer virus. Good. That's very good. Very, very good. So did I get that from this planet? I don't know. Who knows? Doesn't particularly matter. What the heck is that out there? I don't do not know what that is. Let's go to it. Let's go to it. Alright. I don't know if this pirate ship is gonna leave, but I hope he does. You come across the broken remains of an unbelievably Ooh. advanced alien research facility. Wow. Only one of its consoles seems to be in working order. That's good, it I'll take that. Some of your brightest scientists to decipher a small amount of the data from within it. But it is enough to spear Great. The readings gathered good, the good, good. led us to a new discovery. Colony base, so that is really going to help us set up extra colonies, uh, you know, out with, out with our current colony, which is very, very exciting indeed. You can go back onto Auto Explore, buddy. Okay, population is continuing to increase. I'm thinking that this is the last, per well, maybe six, yeah, maybe. Yeah, you know what, let's actually reallocate some resources. I'm, you know, going to focus a little bit more on production right now. Um, pirate fleet, another pirate fleet. I mean, there's pretty much nothing that we can do about this. As I say, it doesn't particularly matter. Like, at all. Why did you move there? Why didn't you just discover that planet? I do not know. Very, very strange. Well, we're continuing to discover planets. Again, I'm not really going to pay attention to it as we discover them, purely because we've got such a great planet sorting menu up here. We don't need to pay attention to them. We don't need to um, be aware of it. That's a gas giant. We can't can't do anything about those. Uh, so, yeah, that's kind of exciting. 
hydroponic farm, that's going to really speed up our, uh, our rate at which we get people, I guess. Yeah, I guess we'll do that, actually. I guess we'll do that. Um, we could probably do with getting some frigates, which is going to take a long, long time to get them set up, but I really do need a starbase. Starbase will allow us to defend a heck of a lot better. Alright. Come on. There we go. Anomaly detected near Sol. Let's head straight to that. That sounds like a great plan. A, new discovery. a neutron blaster and an automated factory. I'm not really interested in the neutron blaster. Um, but I guess... I guess we'll put it in. What do I do with this? Is this neutron... Laser cannon? Laser cannon. Nuclear missile. Okay, do I just upgrade all? I guess that does something. Whoop de do, I guess. Our scientists are eager to start. What should we You're focus on? Great. Let's focus on let's focus on maybe a destroyer. Excellent. Let's focus on a destroyer for now. Again, I'm not super worried about the speed at which things are progressing. I'm a little bit annoyed that those pirates are still around, Arriving but the anomaly. sucks. You're Great. Sixty five credits. Sorted. Grand. All to explore. Yeah, so seventeen turns until we can get some frigates. This entire fleet has got a strength of about 10. I mean, that sucks that they even are there in the first place. Because our finances are uh, not as good as they could and or should be. But again, doesn't particularly matter. Whoa, what is going on? Why are you on strike? What? Why, why are you on strike? Is it morale? I don't understand why you're on strike. We've only got 10 population, right? That's so weird. Alright, well, we'll see if that clears up. I, again, I don't really understand how that uh, mechanic works, but I guess we'll have to wait and see. Oh, the blockade is left. That's good. Well, we're going to be entering combat. That kind of sucks. Uh... Yeah, there's no way in heck that we're going to win that one. Yeah, that's getting destroyed, I'm afraid to say. Um, Doesn't particularly matter, given the grand scheme of things. It looks like our guy is done with his little strike protest thing, which is great. However, we are going to be re-blockaded, I would imagine. Either way, it doesn't matter because we're going to be getting our own ships set up very, very soon indeed. Which is actually something that I'm really excited for. It means that we're not just going to be constantly constantly beaten by uh, by pathetic enemies. Engineering research complete, a new ship design has been discovered. The destroyer. That might come in quite handy, actually. An anti-missile rockets. Both of which... Well, one of which I care about. 27 turns for this next research. Um, fungal farms? Pollution reduction? Pollution is another interesting mechanic that I don't quite understand how it works. Empire security. Let's Fantastic. let's 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 invest in Empire security. Whatever the heck that is. Uh, and let's get excited for the frigates that we are going to be uh popping out very very soon indeed. You're on strike again. Goodness me, you really you, you really are very lazy, aren't you? All right. Here we go. Space pirates 12. Hey, hey look at this. We got five frigates that are ready to engage. Let's take command. Let's take command and actually fight this. Because the combat in this is uh, is actually rather exciting. It's not just not just blips. It's uh it's it's good, you know, solid actual combat, which is very very exciting. So we've got our guys over here. Um I don't think there's anything too complicated in just like running straight at them. I don't think that there's anything else to do, quite frankly, but uh Hey ho. Engage at a long distance? Yeah? Maybe there's a higher chance of missing? Well, there's a higher chance of missing, but also clearly a higher chance of hitting. Well, not a higher chance of hitting, uh, a higher chance of them missing. Yeah. 
yeah, that was that was a very, 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 very easy win. Uh, and we should be able to see how much damage we took. Yeah, they dealt 16 damage. We took 16 damage. That is that is pathetic on their part. That makes me feel really good about myself. Um, that's a space pirate ship. We're going to go and clean up. Clean that up. And we're also going to, unfortunately, have to rebuild our scout. Um, oh, three base to the... Three turns until the star base is completed. That's good to note, actually. That is really good to note. So what does this civil transport do? Allow the, the relocation of one population. Okay, that's kind of cool. We need to bear that in mind, actually. Okay, let's get a scout set up. And then let's also do the star base. Let's put that in the queue. And then after that, I think we'll get the research. That's only going to take four turns. And then the biospheres and then the automated factory, right? That's a pretty good production queue, I think. And it should put us in a good place. Um, yeah, we are very, very, very capable of dealing a heck of a lot of damage with, uh, with our current fleet. Should be very, very, very capable. Fleet needs orders. Yep, you're going to be put on auto explore as per usual. Select fleet B. Okay, so... Oh, what? So apparently you can't fight in open space. Alright, well that's just a waste of a... No, don't go. Don't go there. Go there. That was a waste of a scout ship. That is pathetic. Okay, so, unfortunately, it looks like when we get through one of these, whatever you call them, is it a warp point? Yeah, when you get through a warp point, you can't just stop, turn around, and go back. Alright, well, you know what? The more you know, eh? The more you know. Again, we're still not super impacted Welcome by uh, by anything that the, the blockade people are doing. Whoa, a population boom. A 50% increase in births on a human colony world. The exact cause is uncertain. You wow. do know where babies come from, don't you? <laughs> well, this is cracking. That's really good. Um, all right. As a result of a sudden population boom, the colony growth rate is doubled. Wow. Okay. That's that's actually quite something. Although we are reaching our maximum planet size or planet size limit, inhabitable cells. I have no idea what an inhabitable cell actually is, but looks like we're going to be reaching that quite soon. The max. Okay, Biospheres is next in the queue. What does... Oh, no, we need to add... Uh, we need to re-add the, uh, the... What'd you call it? The space. Fleet needs orders, yeah. Go there, attack. Uh, I just ought to resolve it. Yeah, damage dealt, zero. We won. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, if you ask me. Um, we need to add the star base back on, for goodness sake. Only takes like 16, 16 blooming years to get that thing fixed up. Uh, what else? We should also, like, will, it, will the star base actually... Is there anything that we can do that will give us more population I am curious about that also we do need to be aware of pollution um, that will become a problem because I think that reduces morale and I don't really want to mess with morale no maybe it, it messes with something else I don't know what it messes with as you can probably tell I uh, I don't really know that much use production to clean up pollution that would be kind of cool I guess Let's also start building a scout. Can I put you at the front of the queue? I can. Can I put you second? I can. Beautiful. Alright, let's do all of that stuff. Uh, the population boom, I guess, might help us, might hurt us. I don't really know. Uh, but I've learned my lesson. I'm going to be keeping the frigates very, very, very close by. You're going to be on guard duty, I'm afraid, buddy. It sucks for you, I guess, but hey-ho. Fleet needs orders great scout ship go and auto explore and you know what i actually really feel pretty disadvantaged considering we had like two scout ships be destroyed so we're gonna get a second scout ship queued up very very quickly indeed 
Uh, the star base has been completed. Does that give us any extra population space? No, it doesn't. However, it does mean that we've now got a star base, which is floating above, uh, above our place. And it also actually means that we no longer have to be uh, super, super protective. Like, we can get you to... We can't get you to auto-explore because you're not a scout ship. But we could explore with you if we wanted to, which I'm not that bothered about. I mean, we'll just we'll just get a second scout ship for that reason. That's literally literally the reason. Great, good job, everybody. Good job. It took a while, but we eventually got there. Thank goodness. Now the interesting thing is, is that how are we going to handle this population uh, cap? So there's a couple of things that we could do. We could get a civil transport, so we can carry. Uh, so we can just get people off the planet. I mean, by that I mean. At the moment, we've got this population boom. We might as well try and get as much population out of this population boom as possible. I don't really know. I, I, I do not know. Pirate fleet detected. Alright, you get over there. It's going to take you four turns to get over there. Do not get killed by the pirates. Please do not get killed by the pirates. Both of these, or one of them, is going to get killed by the pirates. GN Almost guarantee you. News Network. Ah. The birth rate has returned to yeah. Normal. Birth rate has returned to normal. That's that's fine. Uh, no biggie. No biggie at all. Unfortunately. Yeah, we need to we need to get more food. We need to get more food. We need to get more food. We need to get more space Our for people to uh, people to chill out in. Zeno Diplomacy, great, unlocks Embassy Treaty and Spy Center. I'm interested in the Spy Center, but I'm also interested in the whole diplomacy side of things. I guess economics would be kind of cool. Um, we would get an extra, like, 13 credits per turn. Not like I've really discovered the usefulness of credits, but, um, you know, it's certainly something that we can look into. Okay, that's our civil transport there. So a fleet needs orders, that's great. You can just go and chill out over here, I guess? Yeah, just chill out over there. Like, do you have any attrition or something? Will you will you die? I don't know. Let's go. Let's go and fight here. There we go. Auto resolve. I'm not expecting this to, to go badly. No, in fact, it goes exactly the way we want. And it allows our scout ships a little bit more freedom uh, and allows us to explore the wider universe. So if we have a little look at our planet filter, biome, which is the most appropriate place for us. It's a very small, well, there's a, there's a good, a good, a good bunch of planets that we could potentially inhabit. So it looks like Tatin, Tatina Prime, I guess. We could do that. There's a couple of special bits on it. Um, the biome is not terrible for us. But it's not exactly great, so, you know, I guess we'll have to look at that in the next episode. But ladies and gents, thank you very, very much for watching. This has been Master of Orion, and uh, we're going to be playing a little bit more of this game as, uh, as things go on. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.